Good morning, and thank you for joining me at Online Story Time with the Pflugerville Public Library. My name is Miss Amanda, and I'm one of the librarians here. Now, just to remind you, just like our in-person story time, Online Story Time is meant for little ones to enjoy with their favorite grown-ups so that you guys can learn all the songs and hear all the books together. Let's get started by singing The More We Get Together. We'll sing it two times, so if you don't know it, you can listen the first time, and then you can follow along the second time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your So today we are going to be reading books about an animal. Now last month we read books, I read a book with you, about a bat. Do you remember what kind of animal stays asleep during the day and wakes up at night like a bat? If you said nocturnal, you're right. But we're not going to read about bats today. We're going to read about a different nocturnal creature. This nocturnal creature also flies but this one has feathers. So we are going to read some books about owls today. To get started, let's sing my favorite, favorite owl song. We're gonna sing Hoot Hoot. Now, the first time we sing it, I'm gonna sing it with you and do all the arm motions so that you can learn it. And then after that, my owl friend will sing it with us. Here we go. Can you make two wings like an owl like this? One on this side and one on that side. Very good. Who, who went the little brown owl one day? Who, who went the little brown owl? Who, who went the little brown owl one day? And they all went who, who, who. But we know owls go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We know owls go la di da di da. They don't go hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Good job. Now, are you ready to sing it again with Mr. Owl? All right, let's get him ready. Now, Mr. Owl already has wings, but if you don't have wings already, you need to make them now. Put a wing on that side and a wing on the other side, just like Mr. Owl has. Here we go. Who, who went the little brown owl one day? Who, who went the little brown owl? Who, who went the little brown owl one day? And they all went hoot, hoot, hoot. But we know owls go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We know owls go. La di da di da, they don't go hoot hoot hoot. Now is that right? Do owls say hoot hoot? That's right, they do. This is a silly song, but I like it. Let's get started with something new. So today I'm going to read one of my favorite owl books to you. We're going to read Wow, Said the Owl. This book is by Tim Hopgood. And thank you so much to the publisher, Macmillan, for letting us read this with you today. Let's get started. At night, when we are feeling tired and ready for bed, owls are just waking up. Can you wink one eye like this little owl just waking up? Very good. Owls live in a nighttime world. They have eyes that can see in the dark. But this little owl was a curious owl. Instead of staying awake all night, as little owls are supposed to do, she took a long nap and woke just before dawn. Wow, said the owl. She couldn't believe her eyes. The sky was a warm 
and wonderful pink. Have you ever woken up so early in the morning that you saw the sunrise and saw the sky turn pink? And then, wow, said the owl. What color did the owl see next? That's right, yellow. The yellow sun shone through the morning mist. Let's see what color is next. Wow, said the owl. As white fluffy clouds floated across the bright blue sky. Wow, said the owl. What color did the owl see next? Do you see all these leaves? That's right, they're green. Wow, said the owl when she saw the leaves on her tree were green. Wow, said the owl as the pretty red butterflies flew by. Let's count those butterflies and see how many are in the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six red butterflies. She watched them land on bright orange flowers which opened up in the warm sun. There are butterflies right there, and there, and there. Up in the sky, the clouds turned gray and it started to rain, but the sun was still shining. Wow, said the owl, as a rainbow of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet filled the sky. The little owl sat happily in her tree and watched as the sun went down and the moon came up. The daytime is full of beautiful colors, she thought. But wow, said the owl, the nighttime stars are the most beautiful of all. And too excited to sleep, the little owl stayed awake all night long, just like little owls are supposed to do. And that is the end. Well, if you enjoyed that book, don't forget that you can put it on reserve in the library catalog and you can pick it up here to check out. Next, we're gonna play a game. We're gonna play an animal copycat game. I'm gonna pretend to be an animal and I want you to copy me and then I want you to try to guess what animal we're being. This first one, I think you'll get pretty quick. Here we go. Can you flap your arms like that and say, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Good job. Now, what animal do you think we're being? Hoo hoo. If you said owl, you're right. We're being owls. Let's try another animal. I'll give you a hint. This next animal is a bird, but he doesn't fly. Here we go. Can you waddle like this? Little tiny steps back and forth. What animal do you think we're being? It's a bird and he has eggs but he lives in a place where it's really cold. And he takes tiny steps with his tiny legs. If you guessed penguin, you're right. Next, we're gonna do something that's a little bit tougher because this one is not a bird, but it does lay eggs. Here we go, ready? Can you slither your arms back and forth and make a hissing sound with your teeth? 
If you guessed snake, you're right, we're being snakes. And one more animal. And this animal is very different from a snake. This animal does not slither on the ground. And this animal does not lay eggs. You've gotta be nice and big for this animal and you gotta give big stomps. Here we go. And can you lean over and go like this? do you think we're being that has a long swinging nose and big stomping feet? If you guessed elephant, you're right! Good job! All right, next I'm going to show you a couple of books that I think you'll enjoy that you can also check out from the library. Now, I have a couple of books here that I want to tell you about that you can reserve and check out from the library. These are some of my favorite story time books. This one is called The Little White Owl by Tracy Corduroy and Jane Chapman. So you can try that one. And then next, I have I'm Not Reading by Jonathan Allen. And I love Jonathan Allen's owl books. They're so funny because Sometimes I can understand how Owl feels when I'm trying to read books to my little kiddos at home and they're running around. It's very hard to have a story time. And I bet sometimes you felt frustrated like that too, little guys, when you're trying to share something and someone's not paying attention. But I think you guys will like this story. I hope that you check out those books from the library. But until then, let's practice a counting song. So let's get all our fingers out. Here we go. Counting, counting, watch me count. I can stretch my fingers out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, do you mind if I do that again? Because I realized I started on this hand and I should have started on this totally hand. Totally fine. You can just okay. start over. Next, let's sing a counting song together. Counting, counting, watch me count. I can stretch my fingers out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting, counting, watch me count. I can stretch my fingers out. Good job. Now put those fingers together and clap. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. For our craft today, you're going to be making a very silly little owl. So you'll need to give him two big round eyes with two little black pupils. He has a triangle beak. And then to finish, two little heart feet. And now you're done. All right, now it's time to say goodbye for the day, but I hope that you enjoyed story time today and I hope you'll join us again next week. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day.